Chapter 10, Unfinished Business. What's up, everybody? My name is Crytek Emblem. Welcome back to another Yakuza 3 video. As this series goes on, there will be ever so many random edits throughout it. Some of them I may or may not explain. With these visual copyrights that I have to deal with, I hate to even explain in the beginning of an episode, but gosh, I really, I really hope things get better. We are here back in this place. Majima's here, of course. Ever need a hand or 100 from the Majima Ferry? Just give me a ring. We'll be down there before you even hang up the phone. Oh, yeah, Mine's in Okinawa. We have to go back there. I forgot about that. Don't let Mine out of the CIA. So, okay. Get the better of you. Oh, of course. But. First of all, Alan, there are for sure going to be a lot of people who want to mess you up. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Well, let's do this, boys. Okay. Okay, now I HLA Buki. Careful that you agreed to help catch the hitman in Okinawa. I want you to know the HLA offices in Okinawa received info of a, on a hitman in downtown Ryukyu. When you're in downtown Ryukyu, stop by Ryukyu Shogyu under the monorail station. One of my men will fill you in on the details. Interesting. But before we do any of that, let's get some upgrades going. Ah, uh, the Komaki reversal. Give me that bit. Alright, airport to Okinawa. Let's go. Promise Tommy I'd save Toma from Joji Kazuma and the CIA. First thing first, I'll need to find Toma. No, I want to stop by the orphanage first. The kids will be thrilled to know I'm back in town. Oh. A <laughs> smack of Mac. How's this swinging, Kur you son? Just wanted to fill you in on some juicy deets. I slurped up the other day. Oh, God. You know Hatsumachi, yeah? Tons of interesting looking people roaming around there, let me tell you. Speaking of, there's this old dude you might want to try and find. Just concentrate real hard once you do to take in the glory. Word on the street, you gotta press R3 button to concentrate. What? Oh! Well, thank God I at least looked this up, because uh, this would have been something I was thinking about skipping, because... I don't know, I... I do care about these elevations because they are important towards, you know, advancing my physical prowess. But this guy was not very easy to find given how you had to find him. But here we go. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> the sound effect. Oh my god. Oof. Jesus. Ow. How can somebody be this unlucky? Jesus, what a bad day this man's having. Oh, 
Poor guy has a tough luck, dude. Huh. A lot of fighting games has a technique like that. Actually, Tekken had a fighting... Like, someone had a fighting saw that did that. Yeah, that just kept doing that. I think it was actually King from Tekken that actually had that exact, you know, chain of combo just breaking them into just tiny pieces of their bones, man. Another elevation. I took one look at this guy plodding away or along and knew he'd inspire me. Just as I ready my camera, he slipped on a banana peel. Peel then soared through the air, landed on a rugged looking guy's head. I'll let you imagine the rush. Oh, and the move I learned from this is really something else. The move that he learned from this doesn't even cor correspond with this at all. It's just like, oh yeah, while I'm on the floor, let me just continue to break this guy's body parts apart <laughs> bit by bit. Freaking Tekken style up in here. Super finish, Hell's Gauntlet. Let's go. Finally, aged Mac. What's up, Curious Sound? Word on the street that you've been busting heads left and right down in Okinawa. How do I know? I just do. Don't ask a man to share his secrets. I don't like that. BT does. I've been peeping this Yakuza series on TV lately, and it's off the hook. But that's not what I wanted to tell you. Pile mine down Okinawa says there's some asshole plastered out of his mind over in Hatsumachi and let me tell you not all drunks are created equal oh my I have an idea where this is at actually while I was trying to find this elevation this happened this weird encounter so yeah Oi. Uh, sorry about what happened, but let's get back to the main story at hand. How you doing, Nakahara? Uh, never been better. It's like more than a few little bits of metal to drag me down. I don't care, did you learn anything else about the guy who saved me? Uh, yeah, he's actually the brother of the man who raised me as a kid. Apparently, he works for the CIA. The CIA? The same guy was there when I was staring down the other side of that barrel. What's the CIA get out of shooting me, though? They're on a mission. Can't really say much more than that, but... Them wanting the deed to Morning Glory's land has something to do with it. What's so special about the patch of sand, though? The land itself isn't what mattered. The, it's the project they're going to build on it. Resort, exactly. 
That and the military expansion that hinges on Tonya's new bill. I don't know if I get it, Anaki. What's the CIA got to do with the building of resorts? Or the military base so far? I don't see the point because originally Tonya said he didn't want this, but they, he made it seem like he actually does. Well, people believe it. Oh, they want to make money. This is what they got to do. That's not right at all. The point is to smoke out an armed smuggling syndicate, which has been undermining the U.S. for years now. Once the CIA gets them out into the open, they're going to crush them once and for all. Turns on Nakahara, Daigo, and I are all just pawns in their plan. How did you find out about all this? I heard it straight from Tanya, the Minister of Defense. Tanya. You remember Toma, his secretary? Well, Tanya says if we say Toma, he'll put us up to the resort. What do you mean, save him? Toma learned too much about the connection between Tanya and the CIA, so he decided to take matters into his own hands. And now the CIA wants him dead because he knows too much. Mm. Wait, but if Toma's mucking up the works, wouldn't it be better for Tanya if, if the CIA actually offed him? It's not exactly telling us, so he's far more honorable than that, I guess. And here, I thought politicians wouldn't fit it, lift a damn finger if it wasn't going to benefit them. Good to know that there's some actually, you actually give a crap. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why I came back to save Toma. Now I just need to figure out where he is. All the kids are just so happy to see him. Uh. Tommy, huh? Any updates? Where are you now? Back in Okinawa. I wanted to stop by the orphanage, but I'll be heading out to look for Tommy any minute now. No need. He'll be at the prefectural office with his advisors all day long. And tonight? They're discussing the detail of the resort deal, Korea. I expect this meeting to be quite lengthy. In fact, they'll be more likely than not to continue working through the night. As long as Tom is at the prefectural office, he'll be safe. In other words, you can rest easy for now. The real test will come tomorrow. Right. Not sure when the meeting will end, but whenever it does, Tom will instantly be in danger. Wow. Joji will undoubtedly strike at his most vulnerable moment. I have someone keeping tabs on the meeting, though. I'll contact you again when I learn where Tom is going. For today, try to get some rest for the battle ahead. I expect you'll need it. Oh, and be ready to leap into the action at the drop of a hat tomorrow. Why do you even tell me that? You're talking to the dragon of Dojima. Farewell. Now, Tommy, it sounds like Tom is going to be tied up in a meeting until tomorrow. He's safe for now. Good, good. Gives you a chance to take a load off, spend some time with the kids, and miss you something fierce while you were gone. Especially the black guy. This guy just keeps fist bumping in my face. <laughs> I've never seen him this quite pumped before. I said they have tons they want to ask you. That's exactly why they're all up in your grill right now. Second, anyway, Rika, we should get going. Oh, right. Right, too. Just some overnight tests at the hospital, nothing too serious. I'll swing by tomorrow, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll be back after we drop the ball, so I'm gonna get later. Uh, if I had to hear another word about Tokyo, I think I'm gonna puke you. Okay. It ain't Okinawa without their good old family scuffles and whatnot. Here we got Taiichi and Mito going to the beach to go and uh, fight each other. Just wrestle it up, you know, because Taiichi loves wrestling and whatnot. Haruka wants him to go do his chores and stuff because it's his turn to do it and get shopping going for dinner and such. But then they get kind of out of hand. Mito has a asthma attack, which we didn't know about until the doctor came here. And 
It got kind of iffy. We honestly thought the absolute worst for the child, thanks to the doctor being a dickhead, for saying the absolute worst stuff, which is always something scary when a doctor comes. And we, we, we can pretty much went and go to try to comfort him and, you know, try to make him feel better about himself. When things seem pretty hopeless for him, and to be there for him, that was like the best we could do. But then afterwards, me and Rika have a little bit of a contest. Well, not exactly a contest, but we decide we're going to both wrestle in front of the kids, have outfits, have a ring in the beach, which was pretty cool. This wrestling idea that Rika came up with was to cheer up Taichi because he felt like he couldn't play it no more due to the stuff that the doctor said and it made him really feel uncomfortable and stuff. But here, this man felt really good about himself for doing what he did here today and everything was good from there. But then the doctor comes back and tells us that he was actually allergic to whatever the heck he ate earlier. So that was interesting. I gotta say, this encounter was very unfortunate. Haruka starts acting strange, and we try to get to the bottom of why. And I mean, Haruka can't really hide anything from us, we've known her for so long now. And when she's doing something fishy, I guess any kid would act strange, it's pretty obvious that something's up. Kerr, you think that she had a boyfriend, which is the usual father line to use, so he gets very curious. We have to go into town to keep our eye on the tabs of what she's doing in uh, the town, but that's where we find it. Parker, is everything okay? Well, uh, Uncle Guys, <laughs> it's it's nothing, you know. I was just about to head over to the market. She acting so weird. What's she looking at? How is this help line close there? She really is here going shopping. She wouldn't be hanging around in Atsumaji. Something's fishy, yeah. man. Haruka? What are you doing? Oh, this is cake. Sweet cheeks. No time to hand in a few flyers. You've seen people doing that before, right? Yeah, I guess so. She was thanking you. Lucky Star for giving you this shot, little girl. You got kids. Flood in our office, not so just begging for a chance of breaking the dough with us. Now, all you gotta do is take these envelopes and hand them over to old Smuts. We'll ask you for one. Do that, and they'll pay you a cool $20,000. I don't trust it. Oh. No, Arga? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uncle Jack. Well, looks like that's our deal. Jack's around, young lady. What a faggot. Arga, who are those guys? Oh, uh, nobody is. Just some people asking for directions. Well, look at the time. Shopping can't wait forever. Arga. I don't like the look of this. Ah, there you are. You're the kid, huh? Give me one. Um, here. This guy looks like some kind of hose. Definitely not the right age to be your boyfriend at the very least. Ah. Yo, hit me up with that envelope. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was just your run of the mill punk. Definitely not boyfriend material. Not to mention the right age. Oi! He's a hate kid, I'll take one. Right, here you go. No doubt about it. That guy was Yakuza. Decades too old to even think about being on the boyfriend. And Curry was right behind him. Haruka? What are you doing here? Oh, um, Uncle Cass! What were you talking to all those men about? <laughs> uh, uh, just say how nice the weather is. Nothing better than a beautiful sunny day. Haha, <laughs> anyway. 
At least you get shopping now. It's almost dinner time. Hard to wait. She's obviously hiding something. And I see a sparkly in my view. It's really tempting. Uh, it's just about dinner time though. So she'll be heading home any minute now. I guess I should do the same. I'm back at the orphanage. I wonder what's gonna happen today. いい <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Yeah, Suki Yaki the bomb. It's so Riona. It's your turn to do the dishes tonight. To get it started. Going. By the way, Uncle Kaz, there's um something I need to do in town, so I'm gonna be out for a bit. <laughs> no, you're not. It's not safe for younger to be out this late. It won't be too long, promise. Bye. First, all that suspicious stuff this afternoon, then what Mikio told me, and this probably wouldn't hurt to go and keep an eye on him. Oh, finally. I was wondering where this one was at. There was a revelation that I couldn't show earlier in the video because due to the fact that it didn't show earlier on but obviously Matt gave me the deets to get this one so let's go ahead and see what we got just that was insane actually for drunk person to be like this and he freaking messed him up good dude <laughs> god damn Damn. Another revelation. Some punk got pissed at a drunk man. I think the guy would just slug him one and it'd be over but no drunk of all of his attacks and then finished it with a shoulder thrust coincidence can alcohol bring out one's inner mastery sounds like i could use a drink learn the essence of drunken thrust that guy's still laid out <laughs> now with that out the way haruka's over here there she is what is she up to Ah, it's those shady fellows from earlier. I don't trust this. I know that she's only doing it for the money, and she has a good cause, but I hate when I see good people do something like this. I feel like she did this out of the spite that she had nowhere else to turn to, be probably because of her age. Mm. Not doing anything illegal, am I? Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. There are just uh, laws about how much a kid your age is allowed to make. Truth is, we're paying you more than we were supposed to. But hey, you need the dough. We need the help. Win-win, you know what I mean? Mm. I guess. 
Anyways, just do what I, what you did this afternoon, Blue blue skies and green pastures from now on, green like cash, you're gonna rake in. Okay. Mm. Hey, yeah? We got the stuff. Girls chilling by a vending machine in the parking lot. Hand her the stacks and she'll give you what you want. Lay back right here, give me one. Shit, a copper? Oh shit. Let's just see what happens, yeah? Alright, oh, kid got a good head on his shoulders. Dota eating bats didn't expect a thing. Plus, even if they did cast the girl, we'd still be flying. I just got high if registered to a fake name after all. Take this over so creepy ass dark web shade. <laughs> You're a freaking genius, Haruki. That was just what we're looking for, okay? You might even earn yourself a nice little bone so you keep putting the coppers off the tail like that. Oh, really? You betcha. Anyways, when a customer comes, you give them the envelope and take the two grand. If a cop code, give them a slip. Pretty simple, yeah? Let's check back in later. Good luck. These are the same guys I saw Haruka with earlier. Mikio must have been talking about them, too. Guess I'm going to have to ask Haruka about this directly. Another sleeves while talking to Haruka, what should I do? Uh, interrupt them? Let's wait and see, I'm curious. Here, the good old wait and see. There was a bunch of these guys here, so I'm gonna save you all the time and do a little bit of fast forward edit. And even a cop appeared too. But it also reset itself and it recycled the same people, which is kind of stupid, which meant I had to choose the right people to step in on. Which was interesting. Way, so I stepped in on these guys. That's what I'm talking about. Good work, girly. Here you go. Ten grand. Don't spend it all in one place, eh? Huh, arigato. <laughs> That's a lot of money. What's it for? Eh? <laughs> Holy Jesus. Pulling out the Monty McCart. <laughs> Who the hell are you, man? Uh, Uncle Kaz. Counterfeit. Credit card? Just be ashamed of yourself using a towel for some two bit scam. Oh crap. Who are you? Doesn't matter who he is. You better get walking if you ever want to walk again. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna teach you what happened when you take advantage of a helpless son. <laughs> okay, I'll just meet you then. I'll get hit in the dick, boy. Now, as suspicions go around, this was pretty obvious. Why did you do it, Haruka? Mikio, Mikio, what's wrong? Mikio told me about the thug we saw our Haruka town with. I swung by Morning Glory with you and Haruka town were going. I heard word about these guys and Hatsumachi pumping out counterfeit credit cards. Though, so I figured they were the ones Harkatone got mixed up with, and now here I am. Now, what are you thinking, Haruka? Could have been in serious danger. I heard Uncle Rika could talk about what? They were saying money was really tight. Mm. He said the cost to feed us and rent was also on him. That we might not make rent this month. You have heard that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, ha, ha. You got it all wrong, Harkata. We're talking about the real office, not you guys. What? What about the rent and the food bill? You said everybody eats truckloads. Yeah. It was all one big mess of the state. The only place we're raising the rent is for our office. <laughs> 
after the food. I know the only way to tell who eats like a truck, let's be honest. That's not something to be proud of, buddy. <laughs> what are you proud of that for? <laughs> That's really all it was, that water relief. Are you gonna be okay though? Uh, we'll figure something out. First of putting our big boy Mikio here on a nice long diet. <laughs> well, if you ever want a nice hearty meal, you guys are always welcome, Morning Glory. Well, Aniki, guess this is where we take our lead. Thanks for clearing this up. No problem anyways, me and the bug pop pretty much. Wow. Let's probably hit him too and I'm just gonna I'm sorry, I'm scared. Oh, I'm gonna hug you so bad right now. I feel so bad. But she was just being nice. Ah, oh, she does walk away at the door though. Well, let's get back to Morning Glory. I guess we're back at the orphanage now. See some of the kids playing around in there. What's going on over here? Wow, it got so late. And yeah, it's almost time for the kids to get to bed. Check, I'm gonna take a bath first. Can you check on the others for me? I'm on this. Make sure they've all taken that, that's how their homework is coming along, all you guys. Yeah, I think I can do that. Ah, where to start here? We got this situation with Ayako going on. She's the type of person that loves to take care of others before herself consistently. And I admire something like that. But it is pretty unhealthy to do that if you never really try to take care of yourself a little bit, you know? And Kuryu talking Haka here about it as well. And it was very interesting. I think it went on, even though they had the help, it seemed like the people weren't very appreciative of her help. And she kind of felt self-conscious because of it. And it really bothered her. We ended up talking to everybody in Morning Glory about this as well. Because it was a family sit down, we had to tell them everything that she's done for everyone. Because she's helped out more than anybody else in this house other than Haruka. She didn't even accept Haruka's help at times too, and that was crazy to hear that. I was like, Haruka's like a mother compared to all those kids. She's like the oldest too. Here when I finally found Ayako for the longest time, I had to chase her around the entire city after chasing around the entire city to find her. And I have to say, this was probably some of the hardest I've ever had in a chasing scene in the entire game. Of course, after everything was said and done, everything went happily ever after, after finally stopping Ayako. I don't know how the heck she was able to run so fast, but I gotta say, it was some gods here running, like she had potential. But when we came back to the orphanage, however, all the kids had a bunch of gifts to give her and pretty much make sure that she feels appreciated for what she does for everybody. Morning Glory really came together to cheer up. I have a feeling everyone's going to get along from here on out. I still haven't heard from Tanya though. He was supposed to give me another call today. Whoa. Not the test go. Just peachy. Pass all them with fine colors. Sounds like it won't be much longer time right as rain. Not if you get enough rest, boss. To be in bed right now, not out and about. <laughs> I can rest when I'm dead. <laughs> I think he's gonna be just fine. Oh, is that Tamiya? Uh, speak of the devil. Tamiya! I've been waiting to hear from you where Toma. The meeting with the prefectural assembly just ended. My informant seemed to believe that he's on his way to celebrate with a drink. Perhaps many more than just one. Got it. I have to wonder though, if you have eyes on Toma, why don't you just have your guy tell him what's going on? Seems like the easiest way to protect him. My operative, not only a valuable asset to me, but a prominent Okinawan the politician as well. Revealing his identity is undoubtedly hindered the future progress for the island. 
Not to mention the fact that Tomoe is no longer trust me. It was his decision to leave after all. True. Probably wouldn't even think of listening to your informant after that. So, what's the plan? Do you know where he went drinking? Hatsumachi, most likely. Any idea what bar? There are several that I recall him frequent frequenting. We hopped around quite a few places when he brought me down there. Well, come to think of it, there was one he seemed to love more than any other. It was a bar specializing in... Oh my god, really. Apologizing Hatsumachi. I have a... I'm aware of what that one is. That one doesn't deserve the fate that Joji would lead him to. I'll handle it. Focus on stopping the re resort land acquisition part of it at least. You didn't worry about that. Pole dancing bar. I'll go over there. I just told me where to, you think Toma is. That means you're heading out, huh? That's the plan. To keep an eye on the kids while I'm gone. Don't you worry, Aniki. we will watch him like a freaking hog. Be careful, okay? Well. I wonder how this video is going to turn out. Because when I have videos like this. Which I don't hate. But the reason why I make videos in this format. Is because. At least for these. I can put it in one single video. Rather than cutting into two. Just for the sake of simple family bonding. That a lot of people go through. But it's a bit different for orphans, you know? And there are orphans out there that probably watch YouTube and play video games and, you know, have try to have a good time with the life that they have to now live with. You know? Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna announce it in this video or not. Probably not this one, but maybe the next one. I'm going to probably change up the uploads because I need to make sure these videos, at least the Yakuza videos, go out the best way I possibly can. So I might be back to the two-day upload streak so that I can make sure I don't have copyright and I don't have to take the video down and then put it back up later in the day and then it'd be copyrighted again and I have to put it up again. Uh, see, this is why I actually need to do this in that format so that I can make sure we don't have any more problems like this and I can prepare for them ahead of time. Even though I don't like the fact that I'm going to end up having to explain certain cutscenes if it's too big and too grand. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if you watch this all the way through the end. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care and have a blessed day. Goodbye.